Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. Worship you, Lord. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to talk to somebody when I got this word. The Lord said, look closely. It has already happened. In other words, the worst thing that could have happened have already happened. It will never be able to get worse than what have happened. This person I'm talking to you right now, your worst fear, your worst nightmare have already happened. But you survived it. <clears throat> yes, there are some things you never wanted to happen. There are some things that you were scared of. That was you were things that you were afraid of. And you were like, wow, this is my greatest fear. This is my worst fear in life. Now, the worst fear have already happened when you look at what has been happening in the past. But now it is time for you to prepare for the best. Because when the worst have already happened, then you create a room for the best. You create a room for the best. The worst happened to Jesus when Judas betrayed him. When he was betrayed by the law, by, by someone that he loves. Something that you never imagine when it happened. That becomes your word fear. Like it didn't come from the outsiders. It come from the within. You are like, wow, this comes from my in, in, from the inner part, from the inside, from someone who know me better, from someone who I thought was really was really the real one. This is coming from this person. This is my worst fear. It has finally happened. But the worst fear does not just mean that you will not have better anymore. Even the worst fear will lead it lead to a greater opportunity. It lead to redemption. It lead to healing. It leads to revival. It leads to realizing that you deserve better. That whatever you were so afraid of have already happened. So nothing more that can happen that will shake you. So if I were you, I would prepare for the best. Because after all, after the night, it comes the morning. The Bible says sorrow may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. It is possible you have half feared. You have half fear. You were in your dark place when those things happened. You were so afraid of the night. Your money has come, child of God. Nothing possibly that can happen now that have not even happened before. So you just have to be open for the best. Be open for healing. Be open for new things. Be open for positivity. The negative thing that have happened has happened. Let go of it. Don't remain in it. Just grow. Grow and move forward. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.